Hey guys, I want to share with you a video today on this handy little tool that I found called Slack CLI. Slack CLI will allow you to enter a message in the command line of your terminal and send a message to a Slack channel of your choice. So this is a handy little tool and it's written in Node.js. So if you have Node installed on your computer, this should be very familiar to you. So to install this tool, you have to do npm install slack cli and then do the global command. This will install the tool to your uh, from computer globally. And when you do that, you will have this slack cli command available under your command line. Now, right now, if I run this thing, it says token not found. I need to set a certain token in order for this to work. A token is something Slack generates for you, for your user. This is user by user basis. Every person will have their own unique tokens. So to get your Slack token, you need to go to this URL here, api.slack.com slash custom integration slash legacy tokens. Now here you can press a generate token button if you don't have a token ready. So here I have my token. I'm just gonna copy it and then Based on the readme here on this tool, I can let's do a quick example. So I want to send a message to general channel here and with this tool. So let's try that. Do slack CLI dash H. So here is the channel name. I'm going to be sending it to general channel. And then the message will be hello YouTube. I need to send in my token, which is with the T flag. Now this is the token that I just copied. And then you can switch the username. So basically you can send a message as any username you want. So right now I'm going to send it as Pentacode. So when I press enter on this, you see immediately it sends a message to my channel with the message, hello YouTube, and the username is Pentacode. So there's so many, uh, things that you can do with this. Like if I delete this message now, I can send it with a go emoji. Let's say that. So if I do slash E and then do goat. Now this message will be sent with the goat as the avatar. So it's very uh, flexible you, know, you can use it to play a prank on your friends or, you know, other things. Now, I don't want to type my token every single time I send a message. So I want to store my token as a variable here. So let's say slack underscore token equals to this thing. So now start token variable will contain my token. So instead of the long message before like this, I can update it. So instead of saying that whole thing as a token, I can just do dollar sign slack underscore token. This will replace the variable value for the Slack token. So when I press enter, see it does another message. So it also works. Now this is very useful. Um, a quick example I can think of is that you can hook this up to a command line script uh, for when you do a NPM build or something on your local, right? And let's say your Slack is hooked up to deployment on your server. Sometimes you may have some internal commands like deploy, you know, app, right? This will send a, something to your own app, application server and trigger a Jenkins deployment. Now, if you, you don't want to type this thing in Slack all the time and back and forth, it gets annoying. So if you want to just let it, let Slack do it via your command, you can very easily just set up something like this and do deploy app. It will just send the same message to the channel and this will trigger a build. Now this whole command here, you can alias it as something else and then put it inside your package JSON. So you can do M like after you do uh, npm run build, you can have it run npm run deploy and this will set up a whole deployment chain. So this is just one of the one example that I uh, came up with. Uh, there could be many, many other examples. The possibility is endless. So it's up to you to figure out what you can do with this. So I just want to share with you today this nice little tool. And that is it for this quick video.
I also want to give you a quick update on what's going on. Uh, I haven't up uploaded for a while. Uh, that is because I changed my computer to a Linux system. Right now I'm running a Linux Ubuntu 16.04, I think. And this, right now, it looks like a Mac computer, but it's not really. It's a Ubuntu computer. So I'm running the Mac Ubuntu skin. So it looks exactly like a Mac computer, but it's actually Ubuntu. So hopefully with this more powerful computer, I can create more videos quickly for you guys. So stick around for a lot more tutorials. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.